How can insurance be used for opportunity? Welcome to Question and Actuary. I'm Pramod Sharma, your actuary at Taxevity Insurance. This particular video is aimed at advisors and not the general public, but it is on YouTube, which means that anyone can watch. What we're doing is re-examining the role of life insurance. Conventional thinking says that life insurance is a way to transfer risk, and that's true. There are four transferable actuarial risks. One is morbidity, that's where expenses increase. There's disability, where income decreases. There is also longevity, where savings decrease because people are living longer than their savings, or they're incurring medical expenses for long-term care, for example, that erode the savings that were intended to last longer. There is also mortality risk. Here, expenses increase because of the taxes due at death, or in the case of a couple at the time of the second death, the income decreases. In fact, it stops. Pensions will end when both spouses are gone. Savings also get eroded because money that could go to other causes goes to taxes and other final expenses. Why would someone use insurance? The reason is simple. If you look at the premiums, they are small, and if you look at the benefits, they are large. The motivation to buy insurance comes from need. The financial plan requires insurance for a shortfall. The bank requires insurance as security for a loan. The shareholders agreement requires insurance for funding. A separation agreement requires insurance for certainty. Something requires insurance for something. There are many individual insurance products which can be used. There are many considerations and compromises in the choices, and we are not going into all of these in this video. The process is order taking. Typically, you find the insurer with the lowest cost, and apply for the required insurance and cancel the coverage as soon as possible because the insurance is seen as an expense. Creative thinking takes a different approach. Creative thinking says that insurance brings tax planning opportunities. The actuarial motto is that risk is opportunity. Life insurance bundles unique tax advantages. First, there's the tax-free death benefit, that's something you get with term life insurance, and that by itself is very valuable. Beyond that, there is permanent life insurance with a cash value, which gives additional advantages. There is tax-sheltered growth on the investments inside the insurance policy, up to the maximum tax actuarial reserve, or MTAR. There is tax-free access if you borrow against the equity in the policy. Finally, there are tax deductions if, when borrowing against the equity in the policy, the proceeds are used to invest in suitable investments. The ideal client could self-insure, but has the health, income, and assets to do two things. First, qualify for permanent life insurance, and second, benefit from the tax advantages. These advantages are especially useful for incorporated professionals and small business owners. There's tax sheltering of passive investment income. There is tax-free access to the cash value anytime. There are tax-free capital dividends at death. And finally, there is some protection against future tax changes because life insurance tends to be grandparented when the rules change. A good example would be January 1st, 2017, when new tax rules came into effect. Policies purchased before that date were generally able to keep the rules from 1982. The process here is guiding. Inertia and indecision often stops your clients from buying. They don't perceive a deadline or pressure to act. They may not fully understand. And there's also skepticism. What's being proposed by some advisors looks too good to be true, and probably is. As the trusted advisor, you play an essential role. First, you review the strategies in advance to see whether they make sense. This would be done at a high level, looking at the concepts. Next, you identify clients who would benefit from the strategies and refine the strategies for a specific client. 
Finally, you nudge your clients through the process because they need help. What do clients want and are not getting? Enveronics did a survey earlier in 2018. These are some of the findings. 19% of clients get help with tax planning, which means that 81% don't. That's an opportunity for you. 16% of clients get insurance advice. That means 84% don't, which is an opportunity for you. 10% of clients get help with wills and other legal documents. That means 90% don't, which again is an opportunity for you. 74% of advisors are not engaging their clients in all aspects of their financial lives. Only 26% are, which again is an opportunity for you. What is your opportunity? Expand what you offer. Add to your team without cost. You do that by collaborating with independent experts in other niches. You are now better able to compete with banks and family offices. Or if you are a family office, you can now improve what you are offering. You satisfy your clients and that is a way to attract more. And this is without increasing your workload much because the work is being done by others. On the insurance side, that would be tax evity insurance. Ah, improving fairness in the tax system. <laughs> this has had a lot of discussion because what's considered fair by the government is not considered fair by the taxpayers. What are your strategies for corporate passive income? Your clients can invest in options that only produce capital gains, which is to say they could invest in ways that are suboptimal. They could use life insurance for corporate savings. They could use IPPs and RCAs. An IPP is an individual pension plan. An RCA is a retirement compensation arrangement. Both of them are ways to save for retirement and create taxable income later. There are strict rules around these products. Permanent life insurance gives an envelope for tax-sheltered growth on passive investment income. You can offer your clients insurance audits. These can be on their current coverage and also on new pitches that they receive. When we do reviews, and at Taxivity Insurance, we do lots of them, here are the top five findings. We find conversion options which have expired or are about to expire. A conversion option allows term insurance to be converted to permanent insurance regardless of health. We find expensive solutions, high cost, poor value. Whole life insurance may be used where term insurance might be a much better fit. We find too much life insurance, which means there is too little protection for other risks. It's not enough to deal with one risk, you wanna deal with all the key risks. Disability, for example, has a much higher probability of occurring during your working years than death. We also find new sales. Advisors would rather replace than repair. There is also neglect. Advisors receive ongoing compensation without providing ongoing maintenance. When it comes to insurance, you can ignore it or you can be proactive instead. You can see what insurance your clients have, that's done through an insurance audit. You can hear the concerns that your clients have. How could insurance help? You can speak to your clients about suitable insurance strategies you have co-developed. Insurance intersects four specialties. There is the world of risk, which is where actuaries specialize. There is the world of tax, which is where accountants specialize. There's the world of investing, where investment advisors have special expertise. And finally, there's the world of law. Insurance is a contract. Life and health insurance combine protection with tax advantages. Do your clients qualify? Pre-existing conditions can affect coverage. Insurance is only available before the risk or opportunity. If you have other questions, please feel free to contact us directly. We are here to help.